everyone and welcome to Metagame Mastery, where it's not just about what the card does, but how it impacts the game. Guilds of Ravnica preview season is upon us, and they are coming at us fast and furious today. In fact, this is our second preview video of the day because another card has been revealed called Etrata the Silencer, and it is taking EDH by storm. If you enjoy this content, click the subscribe button to get access to all our latest videos. And if you're looking to pre-order a booster box of Guilds of Ravnica, check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Without further ado, big time! Go! Time! Let's go! At Rada the Silencer is 4 CMC, 2 colorless, a blue and a black for a 3-5 legendary vampire assassin. She cannot be blocked. And whenever she deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counters on them. At Rata shuffles into their owner's library. So, this is a legendary vampire assassin. So this can be your commander, which a lot of people immediately think, okay, instead of tucking her, I can go ahead and put her in the command zone. Of course, the commander tax just builds up over time. So a much better tactic is to put her ability on the stack. Let it trigger, go on the stack, and then before it resolves, flicker her. Then this is a new instance of, completely new instance of errata that will not be shuffled into the library. I don't know if I said Errata there or Errata because they are so disturbingly close, which I think is uh, delightfully appropriate as a nickname since this is a, a card that legitimately could be banned in Commander. Uh, there's so many ways to break this, whether it be bounce, flicker flat effects. A lot of people are talking about, well, your opponent has to have creatures on the board. You can provide them creatures with uh, cards in EDH. Uh, well, it'll take 12 turns to take out a pot of three other players. Blue is in her casting cost. Blue is the taking turns color. So there's a lot of ways to get around the supposed handicaps. She still can't be blocked. You can use counter spells to protect her. You can take extra turns. You can flicker her to keep her from going in uh, to your library and avoid building up commander tax. And even if you're not using the uh, win condition, the, she's a solid control commander, allowing you to exile uh, opponent's creatures, including indestructible creatures, and keeping them from hitting the graveyard where they could do graveyard shenanigans with them. This thing is bonkers. Absolutely nuts. Look out for my deck tech uh, once preview season is over. Deadeye Navigator is a perfect way for you to exploit at Rata allowing you to flicker her consistently every single turn and protect her from spot removal. Risk Factor is 3 CMC, 2 colorless and red. For an instant, target opponent may have Risk Factor deal 4 damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw 3 cards. It also has Jump Start. Hello, Browbeat, my old friend. I need to draw some cards again. Cause I'm addicted to winning My opponents suffer while I'm grinning As I back them up against a wall And watch them fall From the guild of Is Rock Charger is 3 CMC, 2 colorless, and a white for a 1-3 bird with flying. Whenever it attacks, target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. So, this is a repeatable jump effect. Uh, if we've learned anything from Pegasus Courser in the last two limited environments, these are always really good in limited. Uh, great pickup. Not going to see any play outside of that. Hazda Marshall is one white mana for a 1-1 human soldier. Whenever it and at least two other creatures attack, create a 1-1 white soldier creature token with lifelink. 
okay, so Battalion's back. Uh, if you recall, in previous Ravnica blocks, uh, Battalion was an is it or a Boros mechanic, and here it seems like it's actually going to play very well in the Selesnia uh, archetype. Not to not saying that this won't do well in Boros, but it does feel like it plays into the tokens matter archetype. Now, that said, you can just populate the board with tokens to have more targets for your mentor abilities. Gird for battle is one white mana for a sorcery, put a plus one plus one counter on up to each of two target creatures. So one white mana for a sorcery speed, bolster two. That's a fine combat trick as it is. If you're looking to go wide, you get a permanent buff on your team that's going to affect how well you do in a combat math situation. That said, the secret tech on this is how well it plays with Boros, allowing you to pump up your mentor creatures so that they can once again pump up your smaller creatures. Citywide Bust is 3 CMC, 1 colorless, white white for a sorcery, destroy all creatures with toughness 4 or greater. Take that, Arcades! Take that! <laughs> 3 mana board wipe. Ugh. But aside from that, this does explain why a lot of the Boros creatures we were seeing had really high po power and surprisingly low toughness. Now, that said, I don't think this makes up for how low their toughness is, but that it does play well with those cards until you get them too big. And in the meantime, uh, it also plays very well with the Selesnya build. Rhizome Lurcher is 4 CMC, 2 colorless, black and a green for a 2-2 fungus zombie with undergrowth. It enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it, equal to the number of cards it creature cards in your graveyard. So if you have at least two creature cards in your graveyard, if you've managed to populate your graveyard uh, with two creature cards, you're breaking even. This requires some setup in order to be worth your while. But if you have a third or a fourth, suddenly this becomes a very good limited card. I don't imagine this will see any play outside of that though. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoy this content, click that subscribe button so you get access to all our latest videos. And if you're looking to pre-order your Guilds of Ravnica booster box, check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. This has been Metagame Mastery. Peace!